So hello everyone, we are team No Focus from Secondary Technical School of Electrical Engineering and uh, uh, let's talk about our uh, cost base tactic. So let's start with some uh, general functions which are about use in the both worlds. World. The first one is uh, find color. Uh, this function is telling robot how to react on different colors on the map. So if it should deposit or uh, collect objects or avoid traps. Ultrasonic. It's similar to, to find color, but it, uh, it uses distance values from ultrasonic sensors and telling the robot to avoid obstacles and walls as well. And the third one, a steer, helps the robot go certain di direction and uh, in a, a, a certain angle. So this function uh, use also Fibonacci numbers to set robot uh, robot's wheels uh, speed. So the uh, first world, there are two uh, two main functions. The first one is a finite state machine. The robot use different states which uh, give him specific orders for the easier control of robot movement in the first world. And the second one is follow wall. And this function, uh, robot is following a uh, wall in a certain direction at some offset which we set. So the second world also has uh, some unique features. The first one is key positions, which is just a bunch of places where the robot knows it can go. Um, these positions have direct paths between them, but also when there is no direct path, uh, it finds the shortest path composed of uh, the direct paths. Um, but for that to be useful, the robot needs to know where it needs to go. So uh, that's what the manage goals function does. And um, it basically finds out what uh, colors the robot needs to find. And um, then finds a path to a position with those objects. Um, the main loop, uh, it was intended to fix a problem where the robot would um, loop between two positions because those, posi those positions had uh, objects it needed, but the path between those two pos between those two positions already didn't have any objects. So basically, the robot travels along the first few positions, which contain all the necessary objects. Um, then the keep zone function it basically uh, makes the robot stay inside an area with objects until it has two of those objects um, and we don't want the robot to walk into a trap or uh, overshoot a super object so it needs to slow down at when, when it gets near those things so that's what the slow down function does and um, it uh, it's turned off in some points because those already slowed the robots down. Um, so thank you.